hello guys today we will uh, see how to create a interface group in cluster mode netapp basically a interface group is a collection of uh, more than one physical port to have a greater bandwidth and in addition to that it also provide uh, fault uh, tolerance in case of a port goes down so in this video we will create a interface uh, group add uh, two ports uh, into it and uh, then we will create a logical interface over that uh, interface group so that we can see if it's work uh, properly network interface show this particular command will list out all the ports which has leaf bounded to it so in this column you can see that uh, uh, we have these uh, ports and uh, these are the logical interface which has been bound to these ports so that is the first condition that needs to be met that uh, whatever port we are selecting it should not have a leaf bounded so next execute the command network port show to list out all the port that is available in the cluster so we will select two ports that is uh, node 1 e0d and e0e to create a interface group so execute the shown command to create the interface group that is network port ifgrp create then select the node we will select node 1 and then we have to give A interface group name. In this case, we will give A zero A. Then the distribution function. So the distribution function is basically it will decide that the network traffic is distributed on the basis of what. So there are four options. That is MAC address, IP address, sequential, or that can also be called as round robin method, and then the port. So in this case, we will select uh, IP. and then the mode so basically there are three types of uh, mode multi mode multi mode lcp and uh, single mode so we will select here multi mode lcp because that's the recommended uh, one then hit enter so a interface group is being uh, created in order to see that execute the command network port ifgrp show so you can see here a0 a interface group is being created but there is no ports here so let's add ports into this uh, interface group in order to do that we have to execute the command network port if group sorry add ports then the node in this case we have to select uh, node 1 because our interface group is also being located on uh, node 1 then i have crp interface group uh, name then the port as we discussed earlier we will select e0d so it's been added and uh, another port that we will uh, add it e0e that has also been added so now let's see the interface uh, group here so as you can now see here that we have a interface group a0a with uh, ports e0d and e0e added to it the next thing we will do we will create a logical interface over the interface group a0a so let's uh, uh, do that network interface create v server will select svm01 lift name lift one in the road data data protocol we will select all home node we will select uh, node 1 because our interface group is also located on node 1 then home port here we have to select a 0a because this is the interface group where we want to create a logical interface then address 192.168.15.162 then netmask 
5.25.25.20.0 and then hit enter so again execute the command network interface so show to list out the lifts and the associated port so here we can see that a0a is the interface group and lif1 is the logical interface which has been created over it so one thing i would like to highlight here that whatever setting like multi mode lscp or whatever ports you are selecting from the netapp and same setting and same ports needs to be channeled up in network switch also once that is done you will be able to reach the ip so if you have any question or suggestion then uh, do comments please subscribe and uh, once again thank you for watching